But first, breaking news out of Queens. Two students have been rushed to the hospital after they were stabbed at school. Thank you for joining us. I'm Erin E. LeBeau. And I'm Corey Chambers. This hour, we know that one person is in custody. This all played out at Martin Van Buren High School in Queens Village. That's where we find our Anthony Lorenzo live with the very latest on this. Anthony. We are learning new details and found out that this violence could have been a whole lot worse. This says a 16-year-old is in custody right now. However, there are two 17-year-olds that are recovering at Cohen's Children's Hospital with stab wounds, and one of them, we are told by police sources, had a 9-millimeter gun on him. It's unclear the exact nature of this brawl that unfolded here at Van Buren High School in the middle of the day, but what is clear is that one is in custody and two are recovering and expected to survive. Let's show you a video of this fight that we obtained. You can see that there was an all-out brawl inside of the stairwell either on the second or third floor around the 12 30 one o'clock this afternoon uh, it's uh, again unclear what this was about but some of the students we've been speaking to believe this had something to do with a debt that was owed to someone else again three students involved in total one 16 year old two 17 year olds the school was placed on lockdown for about an hour this was a hard lockdown meaning that uh, students and staff had to shelter in place. Here's more from parents and kids inside. The principal sounded really scared, and I was just like, oh, damn, this ain't a regular lockdown. So uh, some, some kids were panicking. Any school, you know, should be a you know, metal detector. This is the only way, only way, you know, they can save the school. And again, at this hour, the 17 year olds are recovering. We are told they are not being cooperative with police in this investigation. Again, 16 year old now in custody facing charges. Tomorrow, it's unclear if there will be scanning at this school because at this point earlier today, they did not have metal detectors. Likely, other weapons got inside. Reporting live here in Queens Village, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Pix 11 News. All right.